Okay, I have something else on here. This would be fun to talk about, what? bro. Worst superhero movies ever. <laughs> Jeez, are you trying to get? I'm like trying to make movies right, one day. Dude, all right, I'm trying our, to make movies one day. I'm just ruin all my. They're gonna be like, yeah, yeah you yeah, don't yeah. like any of my movies. No, well, you know what? Honestly, if if any of these people that we name are still directing films, then then uh, we well, need, the guy who you know the guy who this is funny because it's being critical about films is funny. Just the guy who made The Exorcist, the old classic, top rated horror movie of all time. Is like the most critical guy ever, bro. I've seen this podcast on the DGA, Directors Guild of America, where he was interviewing uh, Darren Aronofsky about his film Mother. And he was like, yeah, what is the point of this movie? <laughs> like, bro, Maybe the point of the movie is guy. that Soldier Boy finna tell him. Because <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You want to talk about him being critical. Yeah. Let's talk about the guy that invented the internet. What a Mr. Critic. Soldier Boy. Let's speak about Soldier Boy real quick, bro. Drake, so, Drake, the boy that had a kid from the world, but more world from the kid. Dad, Drake, Dad, no, Drake. Hey, here's the thing about Soldier Boy for real though. What he actually was genius in the way that he did this. I don't know if you guys remember LimeWire days. If you're old as fuck like me, you mm -hmm. will. What he did was actually crazy. He changed all the metadata and title mm -hmm. of popular songs on the top 100. Yeah, and he just put he uploaded his song. Crank that, but with like Lil Wayne dash blah blah blah. Cool. He's good, and, and so he just did that. He he just got those like as the top those downloaded clicks, ones, yeah. and people were downloading them thinking it was the Wayne song. Then it would be just be cranked at a bunch of times. Oh, <laughs> like, no, so so then though you That's you smart. you sync it to your iPod right, and you're you have some other music, but you're hearing cranked at like you know fifteen times in rotation. He was like and, and finessing and, himself into playlists. Yes, he was like playlist. He was he was playlisting. he was spamming the shit out of people. <laughs> That's crazy. But actually. uh, but yeah, a, dude, there we go. Guy, Soldier yeah. Boy, tell him. Anyway, so this guy. Anyways, he's a super critical. So like, you could still make it in Hollywood even if you have hard opinions because this guy is one of the greatest, of course. Yeah. But anyways, worst worst hero worst movies? superhero movies. Let's give a top three. Now I I have I have two that are definitely going in there, but I'm, I'm gonna throw one out. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna explain why this mm -hmm. is one of the worst. I'm going the Green Lantern. Oofy. All right, that was Ryan Reynolds, wasn't it? I think that was. It was. It was yeah, Ryan it was, Reynolds. It was. I'm sorry. Bro, he Ryan had, a, he had a string of bad movies for some reason. He's killing and Ryan him Reynolds. I mean, Deadpool. Amazing. Wow, that's Deadpool. Crazy. Amazing. Yeah, Deadpool. So, amazing. so it's like the script, really. Okay, here's why the Green Lantern sucked ass. Okay, I was in high school. Okay. And, you know, I went out with some friends. We participated in the smoking of the devil's lettuce, <gasps> and we were like, "We're yeah, I did spinach. I did," and. We were like, let's go. We're, we're going to smoke and we're going to go to the movies and we're going to watch Green Lantern. So I we we pop up in, in the Green Lantern. I'm high. I'm sitting down. And the whole time I'm watching the movie, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> if you didn't find any redeeming qualities in the movie when you were smoked. Yes. Bro. I know. I was I was so disappointed. I like, bro, I wasted like this shit was ass, bro. Dang, bro. It was terrible. That's that, crazy. that's that's up there for me. That that brings a lot of. I mean, the movie. Everyone, pe people sober know the movie's bad. So you were like, "Dang, this movie's really bad." Yeah. Well, <laughs> I. I mean, dude, I feel like if you're high, things things become a little bit more amplified. Yeah. So I guess maybe maybe it was just more amplified in the wrong direction. But it should have been eye candy. You know, it should have been like yeah. really engaging. You know, yeah. there's there, and also by the way, Green Lantern was always my favorite from the Justice League. Really. Uh, the uh, the animated series, bro. Uh huh. Yes. He was he had so much swag to me. I don't know. He was a cool dude, wasn't he? Like he, he was, was black in that one. He? he was. I think he was was he the only black I think he was character in the Justice Other than League? Black I mean Batman. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Superman was black too. Well, you don't want the black Justice League. You don't want that one? That <laughs> no, no, but, but but I did I the Green Lantern was I I just felt like I also liked his powers and stuff. Yeah. I thought they were cool. Superman has always been kind of a lame superhero. He's, to he's me. too OP, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Bro, I mean, dog, when it comes to superhero movie, it's kind of weird because it's like they they made it a superhero movie when it wasn't supposed to. What's that? And people love it so much as Venom, dog. What's your favorite I ha actor? I haven't seen it. I bro, haven't seen Venom it. So is dog is booty, bro. Really? And people <laughs> loved like it was weird because I, I think people like Tom Hardy so much that he kind of sold tickets. Mm -hmm. But you look at that movie like objectively, you're like, bro, this movie is dumb. Like the choices that they make are dumb. The alien yeah. is dumb. It's just a really corny movie. It's just the dialogue is bad. Sometimes, man, some there's only so much you can do. If I mean, if you're an actor and you're given like, especially I guess if the director is not letting you have like really much creative freedom. Well, here, here's and, the problem. It's Sony, right? Sony owns Spider-Man. They own a lot of properties that Marvel used to own. 
And they're like, you know what? So Spider-Man's doing incredible right now. It's like, we need to make another, like, hero. We don't need to make a villain. Like, <coughs> what are you going to get out of villain? You know what I mean? So they just made it. And people liked it, crazy enough. They liked it. Okay. It's just not my thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw in, the like, the 2006, I think, Superman. Now, With the piano scene? I actually don't even remember anything about it. <clears throat> another reason I listen, <laughs> another, reason, another reason I know it was a bad movie. I was at the drive-in and I was so excited. This, uh-huh. this I was a kid mm-hmm. and I was so excited to see the Superman movie, and I like it, almost nothing happened in it. Like and and then it was like it yeah. was like also the superhero movie the Superman movies are always kind of silly to me because he's so op that it's always kryptonite and there's always it's it's so it's like it's like this thing where they have they have. Uh, put so much plot armor on Superman. It's like, right. how are they going to, and then, and then it's always unbelievable. Cause it's kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, so yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Superman had a really bad, I feel like Superman had like a really bad roll out of movies all, all until like maybe man of steel, which people still don't like that. I love that movie, but yeah, I, I, I haven't seen think it. Think about what, I mean, maybe the old classic, like ones that came out where they used the AI to make that dude, that actor again. Uh-huh. I don't know what year that was, but those were probably the best ones because superheroes were so new in yeah. terms of movies. Um, that's a good one, bro. Because that one's pretty, pretty bad. I mean, um, Aquaman two is pretty bad. Aqu- all Aquaman's are bad, but but oh, Aquaman two wasn't God. as bad as the writing was just terrible. But like visually, it was very stimulating. Aquaman, it was like so much was going on. Yeah, they do. I mean, they're good at VFX, <clears throat> right? Yeah, they're really yeah, good it was at good VFX. Yeah. But like you know, Superman, the first Superman, and and Green Lantern sucked ass on on all those fronts. That's well. what Venom is like to me. It's like Aqu- people like Aquaman, by the way. Like no, no I I, I figure I, f- I think it's hella corny, but that's how they feel about Venom. It's like it looks visually like there's no no questions asked. It's, it's a pretty crazy movie in terms yeah. of visual effects. Morbius kind of sucked. So, I mean, Morbius is like that to me too. But bro, if I'm going super, if I'm going, I got I got to give one to um to th- the first Thor dog. The first Thor movies were terrible. First of all, they had like, um, what's her name, Black Swan. I'm my my actor Natalie Portman. Did, was it Jennifer? Natalie Portman oh. plays his, his shorty in the film, and they gave her just like they did not use her acting abilities at all to the fu- to the fullest of its potential. Hmm. Also, Chris Hemsworth was cool, but they didn't really lean into the coolness of him yet. He got yeah. cool later on. It's just they tried too hard to make it too serious. And, so, do uh, you feel like that's a top three worst superhero movies? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't remember it that much, so you, I mean, you might be right. Yeah, yeah. It, it's where do really where do bad. how do you rank? Have you seen the Green Lantern that I'm talking Green about? Green Lantern is probably the worst of all time. <laughs> Super and the Superman. Yeah. Superman, I don't know if it's worse. I'm, Green Lantern is probably the worst of all time. I'm going Superman, then Green Lantern, and then I'll, I'll get I'll give it Thor because I, I haven't seen it, but all right, I have seen it, but I don't remember it. Honorable mentions though, bro. Ryan, like we was talking about Ryan Reynolds with Green Lantern. He also uh-huh. played Deadpool. I don't know if you know this. He played Deadpool in X Men movie back in the day uh-huh in a terrible de- depiction of it and that's one of the reasons why he was like i want to make deadpool how he's actually supposed to be they made him serious and they made him like is, a, is a ryan reynolds like a like a director or producer on he's like deadpool yeah that's like his his passion project oh he so doesn't he's direct like, it but he acted he acts in it has like he has like the majority say in terms of how the story come out plays out yeah all that well i i love that though because those are great movies and yeah, they yeah. have great comedic moments and yeah. it's, it's a full blend good yeah movies, good movies. all right well let us know what other crappy superhero movies have been made we're i mean there's one. a lot like honestly like stop making superhero movies yo we're over it actually we're no over until it. deadpool 2 or what no is no it, no no but i again i don't consider that i don't consider that a superhero true, movie because yeah, it just it, it's like a co- it's just a comedy like it's a and it's, it can be stupid like we don't even really watch it that much for the story it's like you have all these like fourth wall breaking moments uh-huh. anyway but uh, stop doing it stop We're doing over it. it unless it's batman stop doing it batman's cool yeah baby need top five when i'm done going mental yeah i'm like then you can peep my condition